on and make sure that you drop your affirmations in the chat. I am a master trader. I'm a BYB master trader. I'm anointed for wealth. I am the signal, all my trades in the profit. So drop it, drop it in the chat, drop it in the chat. You are absolutely in for a treat tonight. You definitely want to make sure that uh, everyone that you're connected to, they are here with you tonight because I tell you, uh, you are in for a treat. So go ahead and drop those affirmations in the chat. It's very important. You want to start your evening off correctly by getting your mindset prepared. So let's make sure that we are dropping those affirmations in the chat. I am a BYB master trader. I'm anointed for wealth. I am the signal. All my trades end in profit. So yes, yes, drop it in the chat. Drop it in the chat because tonight you will not be the same moving forward. Drop it, drop it in the chat. Let us know where you're calling in from. You want to make sure you drop all of those things in the chat, those affirmations. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, the affirmations are not for us. They are for you. You know, they are for you. I am a BYB master trader. All my trades end in profit. I am the signal. I am anointed for wealth. And anything that you want to add, remember, you want to add, but not take away. You want to add, but not take away. It is very important that you start out with the right understanding, getting your mind prepared. So we're going to get started here in a couple of minutes. So if you just joined us, make sure you uh, drop those affirmations in the chat. I am a BYB master trader. I am the signal. All my trades in the profit. I'm anointed for wealth. We are absolutely excited about the information that is about to be disseminated this evening. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to BYB Market Talks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So drop it in the chat, drop it in the chat. Drop it in the chat. And if you're excited about tonight, you definitely want to make sure that you are <clears throat> going to uh, take full advantage of this information tonight. Oh, man, we've had an amazing week. Uh, we've had an amazing week. So make sure you're not shy. Make sure you're not shy. For those who actually participate and uh, drop it in the chat, I'm telling you, I know who you are, and I know what's happening in your trade account. If you simply uh, do what we ask you to do, folks, we've been doing this a very long time. And for those who uh, copy and become the best copycat and get out of your comfort zone, I'm telling you, it's going to be reflective in your trade account. So once again, this is BYB Market Talks. Go ahead and drop it in the chat. I am a BYB master trader. I am the signal. All my trades in the profit. I'm anointed for wealth. Yeah, that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. But you want to make sure you flood the chat. And if you have anybody that you've been remotely concerned about making sure that they position themselves to get on the other side of money and be a part of the largest economic empowerment movement, you want to make sure you text them right now. Stop what you're doing. If you're not in the hospital, if you're not at your own funeral, you need to jump on this call. This information tonight, that's how important it is. Yes, I am absolutely serious. If they're not in the emergency room and if they're not at their own funeral, you need to make sure you get them on this call tonight because what's about to transpire here over the next hour is simply going to be life changing. So before we get started, yes, I want us to like the chat up right now. Share it on your social media, like it, share it on your social media, let people know that they need to be here with us tonight. Listen, drop your affirmations in the chat. I am a BYB master trader. I am the signal. All my trades in the profit. I'm anointed for wealth. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to get started here in another one minute. So as you're just joining on, make sure you drop those affirmations in the chat. Make sure you drop them affirmations in the chat. Make sure you drop those affirmations. And I am a BYB master trader. I am the signal. I'm anointed for wealth. All my trades end in profit. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and get started tonight. And as you're still joining us, make sure, make sure you're dropping those affirmations in the chat. Let us know where you're calling in from. It's very important. 
So without any further ado, I get the opportunity and the privilege to greet you this evening uh, and to host someone that I have the utmost amount of respect for. I mean, this individual is just simply amazing. And tonight, get your popcorn ready, put your seatbelts on, because I'm telling you uh, what she was able to provide for us with creating this amazing strategy. We're definitely about to take it to the next stratosphere, the next dimension. Yes, two million families financially educated and impacted. And our desire for you is to help you understand that no matter if you're in this collective consortium or not, you're going to always be empowered. So this individual, she's a retired major from the United States Army. She has her MBA. She's a licensed financial advisor. Uh, she is the creator of the BYB cash out strategy. And we affectionately refer to her as the trade whisperer. And she's about to whisper in your ear tonight to unlock anything that you've been uh, remotely uh, needing clarity for. So without any further ado, once again, I'm going to turn the call over to our success coach for this evening. None other than the trade whisperer herself hailing from the beautiful city of Jacksonville, Florida, Miss Tasha M. Dyer. Miss Dyer, are you on the line? Yes, 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 I am. And thank you so very much, Mr. Gerald D. Rogers. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, before we dive in here this evening, just for those of you all who are new with us, for any of you all, I definitely want to make sure that you are aware of who you just had the pleasure of hearing from. Now, this movement, Be Your Own Bank, is here, right? We are here because of his vision. We're here because he has 25 years experience in investment banking. He is actually the spokesperson for the vibrata. Yes, I'm talking about the tool that we use all the time. And so I just want to say thank you because we're all here. The strategy was birthed, right? Because he shared the vision with me. And as we share the vision with all of you all, we just want to make sure that you're putting a position to win. So as he stated, right, I definitely want to make sure I know who I'm talking to. Yes, I see you, YouTube. Yes, I see you all. Um, I see you all everywhere. But let's just go ahead and dive in this evening because I really want to bring some clarity to you all. So let's see. I see Minnesota, right? I, I see um, Minnesota. I see Merrimer. I see Cleveland. I'm just going to kind of skim through here for just a moment. Orlando, Columbus, Jacksonville, right? So many of you are on the line from around the world. So many of you are right on the line. Definitely want to recognize each and every last one of you all. So yes, we do vibrate higher. And so he already gave us our affirmations, walked through us. But I want to make sure that we really, really, really have a clarity and understanding of how important that is. I am an educated BYOB master trader anointed for wealth. I am the signal. All my trades in and profit, I am 777, right? Definitely want to make sure that we have that right mindset. And so as we dive in this evening, for those of you all who are here with us for the first time, let me get a 111 in the chat. And if you are still learning how to cash out, let me get a 222. So I'm just looking for a 111 and a 222 and a 111 and a 222. So welcome, 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 and welcome back. Welcome and welcome back. And so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you're actually on a call. It's called Be Your Own Bank, BYOB Market Talks. And so what I want to know, are you ready to develop your relationship with the market? We all, you always hear me talk about, you know, the market speaks to you. The market talks to you, right? I tell you that your support and resistance is your lifeline. So if you're really ready to develop a relationship with the market, you're ready to take this to the next dimension. You are ready to really begin to see with clarity, right? To have those, you know, to have those blinders removed. That is what we're here to do tonight. So if you're ready, I see you. I, I was going to give you some numbers to drop, but I, I like the yeses. I like the, the bold yeses, the all caps yeses, the ready, you know, emphasize, right? I love it. So if you're ready, just drop it in and let me know you're ready. Let me know you're ready. You know, you know, we like the numbers, but I like this. I like this. I'm ready, ready. All right. And so what we're going to talk about tonight 
And then this actually, let me go ahead and prepare you. It's quite possible that we are going to actually have to do this in a two-part series because what I don't want to do is rush it, okay? I don't want to rush it. I want to actually walk through this with you. And then once we walk through this, I want to be able to make sure we can apply it, right? I want to make sure that it's applicable, like you know how to do it. And we're also going to begin to work through this on our morning calls at 5 a.m. Um, so we're gonna actually implement it. So you are going to be empowered, right? We're not just gonna show you something and then just pray that you figure it out, okay? No, no, no. What we're going to do is we're going to walk you through it. Um, we're gonna make sure you grasp it, make sure you understand it, and then we're going to um, implement it together. So what has to happen is we talk about the market is actually moved by people, all right? The market is moved by people, right? Market makers, institutional investors. But the decisions are made by people. And so we talk about like the psychology, right? The psychology all the time. And there's a psychology to everything. And so none of this is difficult. It's different. And what happens normally is when we begin to look at this, we begin to attempt to try to compartmentalize it, right? We really want to try to make it feel like it's, it's not something that we do all the time, or it's not something that, you know, it's, it's how we do it or what we do with it. You know, it's, it's a little bit different. And that's just not the case. And so what I want to do is I'm going to walk you through psychology and understanding, which is going to bring clarity to your trade account, all right? That's what it's going to do. And so we're gonna start here, all right? I wanna start here with you. There is a psychology to the market, okay? And so you have to go from this to the charts, right? You have to come from here to the charts. And so this, people are emotional. So this is why, why you're trading, you know, why you're looking at charts, you cannot be emotional. There has to be some discipline, consistency, right? Discipline, you have to have your trade plan, right? This is ultimately what we're looking for. And so if you look here, right, you can see the market flows through a psychology, okay? And so, Right here, where we're working with disbelief, right, is, is think about these are things that we say all the time, whether you're looking at just stocks, the market, regardless of what you're looking at, what aspect of the market. market you're looking at you've heard these you know just different things you've heard is real you know or with what the the movies the stock for the movies we saw this with different things GameStop so you saw this happening in the markets so the optimism is it real you know then we have belief right we want to get invested we get thrill right people are excited let me make sure you all right people get excited right and so knowing that people get excited, we kind of go through a euphoria. And, you know, this is where everybody was excited. Just think back to Facebook a few months ago, right? When, and, and it's Dogecoin to the moon, right? So just think about, you know, everything that people were saying, everything that people were doing. And, and that was like the reality of everybody's reality because they're not understanding the psychology of how things work. And here we come, then of course you got, people got complacent. They were still buying way up here. And anxiety starts happening. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Where's my money? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this, you know? And then of course, and I mean, just think denial, 
right? We go through a denial. Well, no, this is not going to happen to me. This is not happening. This is a good company, right? This, this is, you know, so just think about the emotions that take place. And this is real. This is the market. And then, of course, you have panic. Um, you know, I can't afford to lose more money. We get upset. Why did the government let this happen? Have you ever said that? We start blaming those in office, not understanding that this is a cycle that the market goes through, right? This a normal cycle. And so you come here and then of course there's depression. And of course now look, right? We have disbelief and that disbelief starts all over and the market flows through. Now, this is actually a chart, all right? This is a chart where everything is actually placed on here. And if you look, you can see what I did is I labeled each one of these and you see how the market moves, right? So from the disbelief up to the euphoria, we got complacent and look, this is GBP, JPY. And look when this happened. So this was 2012 to 2017, right? So this is the market. So once again, right, it didn't matter who was in office. It doesn't matter. This is what the market does. You notice it falls because people's like, I got to sell, I got to sell, I got to sell. Okay, this falls faster than it rises. It takes its time up and we, we fall. That's why some of you guys think, oh, my sales, right? They take profit or, you know, just different. It's psychology. I'm trying to get you to tap into your mindset. So now let's kind of go back. All right, let's go back. Now, what was this? Doesn't this look the same? It's never going to be picture perfect, but doesn't it have the same structure? Doesn't it look the same? Same currency pair, different years. What happened in 2008? Anybody drop it in the chat. What happened in 2008? What was going on in 2008? What was happening? What was happening? And, and with the market, what was going on? So, right, go a little bit deeper. There it is, the market, but a little bit exactly housing markets and everything else. And so now what you're seeing is that on the charts. And this is GBP, JPY. Now let's come over here. This is Euro USD. And so you can definitely see this. When I took this screenshot, right, you can see, okay, look at what was happening in the market. Obviously, this was before COVID, but that would be a perfect example to kind of add COVID to that because you can see where it kind of fell and it's, in, and it's at that point now where we have to continue to rise back up, right? So this is the same exact, a different currency pair, same years, you can see what the market and what the structure is actually doing. Now, once again, let's go back to our housing years, same years, same currency we were just looking at. Now, do, don't they look exactly the same? Don't they look the same, right? Don't, don't these look, the same so what i'm trying to get you to tap into is that all of this is about psychology all of this is about people all of this is about decisions the market emotions right that's what all of this is all about and so now it's just like how do i take that and translate it to the charts how do i take that and understand how to trade it how do i take that and understand what i have to do now well, if you look at a chart, right, one of the things that you notice on the chart is that our charts have what's called a price on the right-hand side, all right? At the bottom is the dates, but the bottom line is the biggest thing, right? So we, we talk price action. Well, price action is the foundation of the market, right? It's, it's the foundation, right? So when we talk BYOB cash out strategy, I'm going to show you why it's so accurate tonight, why we're sitting at a 92% accuracy rate, why, you know, you have the best thing that you could possibly have in your hands. Because when I'm looking at price, when we look at the chart, you know, you look to the right side of a chart, the price is, it goes up and down and it's actually on the right side of the chart, all right? So why does it, why does that work? Okay, I want you to understand a few things, but it works because of human disposition. It works because of how we think. It works because of how we process things, because of how we've been taught. That's why it works. So now the market actually moves in increments because remember, we're looking, and I told you all the time, we're looking at live orders. 
we're looking at real things that are happening. That's what we're looking at. You just have to understand when you understand that and really apply it, then you will understand how to get your money, like how to get my pips, how to take profit, how to enter. Because you have is how do people think? Remember, you're people. So the market moves in increments and it's identified in round numbers. Let's make that make sense, okay? You're going shopping, okay? And I want you, I want you to be interactive. So I want you to drop it in the chat. When we go shopping, something costs $9.95. $9.95. How much is how much is that? If what do you say when you see $9.95 on the on the on the tag? What is it that you say that that costs? If I if I was to say how much did that cost? What do you right exactly $10? Nobody in the world other than my sister says $9.95. She's the only person I've ever met in my entire life that gives it to you to the penny, right? Most people everyone is like oh that was ten dollars and if something is 936 what do you say right nine nine thirty six you're probably like oh that was like 950 but you still exactly i see you dropping it but you still might say oh it's ten dollars or some of you all might be like it's nine dollars but for the most part we we kind of think in those increments so because that's how we think that's how we process information that's how the market moves because if you're the person making the investment decisions if you're the person sitting on the floor if you're the person you know making these transactions where do you make the transactions do you think a big bank is going to put an order in at 995 you know no they're not they're not going to put an order in at 995 they're going to put an order in at $10. They're going to put an order in at $50. They're going to put the order. And I'm just throwing numbers out there, but just to kind of drive home and help you understand what I'm saying. So how you do one thing is how you do everything. So the movements in the market are identified by those round numbers. Now, this is also the price moves at a at a thousand pip increments okay it moves in pip increments and it moves in a thousand so if you look from a thousand pips you'll typically see a lot of your swings or a lot of pauses or swings that actually happen around those movements right and then of course you know when we've taken it the the thing that we moved the ruler and we've gone over it's like oh this went up 750 pips or oh this went up 936 pips or oh look how far this went up or it went up to almost 2000 right when you see those moves and those swings, well, that's how transactions happen. Remember, when we're in a market, okay, when we're in the market, we're looking at the market from the perspective. Remember, we're trading with our brokers. We don't, we're not trading in the same market that the you know that the actual banks are it's like we're so if they're driving down the interstate, you know, the US highway, they kind of rise alongside of it. That's where we hang out right that's that's what we are but it does impact the market right so as a retail trader that's where we hang out so i want you to really understand that they're making moves they're making transactions that's what they're doing and then we ride the wave okay we ride the wave of the market and so the market is moved in those round numbers in those thousand pip increments and then it can be broken down any even further 250 so now what you're starting to see is big picture, right? I'm trying to paint it for you, big picture. And then as you drive down, the big picture obviously has the most impact. The higher time frames move the market, the lower time frames is where all the activity happened. So larger time frames is where we understand what the what the institutional investors and the big banks of the world, it's like, that's what they're doing. That's where they hang out. And then of course, here we are down here trying to grab 10 pips and cash out. So we have to make that, uh, you, we have to understand how to apply that to what the big picture the market is doing. And so obviously we can break it down, but a movement that's within 10 or to 100 to 10 and the shorter pip increments is not going to have the same impact in the market as the greater ones because where that's where they move. So we have to always think big picture no matter what your trading style is. So I say it again, I say it again, I say it again, it works because of our fundamental human disposition, how we think. And the people moving the market that's working, see banks, it's not a computer moving it, it's people. 
So how do people think? How do we think? This is why that works. So key things to kind of pay attention to, all right? A few key things to pay attention to. 30 minutes before the market opens, okay? You notice an hour after the market opens, right? So like if you get up in the morning for the London session, you ever wonder why it, that that first hour, the market's kind of like settling and getting started and right. And then all of a sudden it moves or even like when we get that liquidity push at 930 and then I'm like, OK, just wait till after 10 o'clock. And it's because it's not always a whole hour, but for the most part, like we we know. So it's like just let's let's go ahead. And if it moves, we grab something. If not, you have to wait till 10 o'clock. Well, this is why right? That push that happens, the market has to settle. 30 minutes before, you ever notice if you put a trade, especially if you're scalping, please don't do this scalping. If you put a trade in at night and you think you're going to leave it and go to bed and you wake up and the, and the analysis was correct, but you wonder why it hit stop loss. Well, guess what? You don't hold those because let's say when that Asian session closes, the market, because of that's the larger gap in the market, as far as the overlaps, Get, you know, that's the largest gap for the for the overlaps. The market consolidates. The market goes to sleep, right? You can, some people trade during that time, but for the most part, the market is consolidated. The market is sleeping. It's, 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 it's the Asian, Asian session closes and you're waiting for the London session to open. And because the London session has the most liquidity in the market, when that market opens, it's a big push of liquidity that's gonna that's gonna push through the market and so the same way we watch the us 30 happen that's where that shift happens but you're asleep so you don't see it right some of you all get up but you're asleep so you don't see it right that's what's happening so you want to pay attention to those overlaps you want to pay attention to the data in the news releases like we do you want to pay attention when speeches happen you want to pay attention when things that impact the market are actually happening right you want to pay attention in so we we really have to pay attention and then now this is where my support and resistance come in now i need to start understanding how do i make that applicable how do i apply that how do I make that make sense, right? How do I take that knowledge and understand the, okay, the market moves in whole numbers, but what does that have to do with trading, right? The market moves in whole numbers, which we discussed, the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? Now, currency exchange rates are in decimal whole numbers. So think about it. If you look at Euro USD, for example, it might be a dollar thirty. That means it takes one dollar and thirty cent to buy euro. So one thirty one. It takes one dollar and thirty one cent to buy euro. That price on the side is not random numbers. It's a real price. All right. Now, this is where the details start coming in. So now this should make it a little clear for you because in order for to trade, when we're trading it needs to be a lot more specific, right? We we really have to drill down because look at how much money is flowing through the, the market, $6.6 .6 trillion a day. So we have we can't just say, oh, it's $1.30. No, I, that, do you know how much money moves between $1.30 and $1.31 in that price range? Do you know how much money you make in, in a pip count? Do, so imagine, how much money is moving so the market has to be really 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 specific and so that's where we start drilling down and understand that that one currency is now divided into a hundred subunits so what does that mean that means that the dollar is broken down into cents we're not gonna say nobody says a dollar 30 on the charts when we're talking indices and things like that we talk points but it's also like gold we talk dollars right but at the same time, we need to break that down. So it's a thousand, it's, it's a hundred cents, right? It goes into subunits. And then that cents is now broken down into a hundred additional subunits. And that's where your pips come in. So that's what a pip is. You ever wonder what's a pip or why do we have pips? Well, because that is broken down. A dollar is broken down into cents. And then that one penny has to be broken down even further because of the amount of liquidity that is flowing through the market. Does that make sense? 
You guys got that. That makes sense. Does that make it clear? You understand why we have pips now? Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now, your support and resistance. A supporter, the definition of a support and resistance line. How many times have I told you this is your lifeline? This is your lifeline. This is your lifeline. So you're a support and resistance line, right? This is a predetermined level of price at a security at which the price will tend to stop and reverse. That's the definition. So the support line is where the price tends to find support. So that means that the support line is always below me. However, a support line can be a resistance line and vice versa. So resistance is where it finds resistance as it rises. So as it's going up, right, as it's moving up, it's going to press against resistance. As it's moving down, now it's support. So that's is so you notice when I say oh it's support resistance resistance support same line it doesn't matter it's the same line it doesn't matter but what matters is how the market approaches it right that's why it has a different name and understand that this is not random it is 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 so the market there is no let me help you the market is very smooth so the market is fluid. This is why it's predictable. This is why it repeats itself. This is why it's not difficult. This is why, you know, for you, it's about creating discipline and a trading plan to where you are determined to understand how it moves in the big picture. So understand price is the most basic. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I know what I need to do. All right. All right. So now price is the most basic and most important unit of information to you. All right. So that's why a lot of people say price action trading. OK, that's why you cannot get away from that. If you do anything from a trading perspective that pulls you away from price action trading. Now, I'm not saying you have to do naked price action, right? Because obviously we don't do that. The BYOB cash out strategy is price action with a twist, right? So if anything is pulling you away from price action, then guess what? Mm -mm. Don't touch it, turn around and run. We just went through how important price is for a trader, how important price is for the market. And let's, let's, let's put it in perspective for you, okay? So your major ranges, okay, your major ranges, I'm just repeating this. So I'm, I'm just repeating this so you guys can see it. And so you'll actually be able to use these numbers to drop your support and resistance lines on the chart. And then, you know, you, you'll be able to see that, okay? So when you have your major range, okay, so you're looking at it. Now you see the price, 1.3000, to 1.4000, that's our major range. So at those price points, that's going to be a major range in the market, right? That's that's going to be a major range in the market. And so you can see what that actual price is. It costs a dollar 30, it costs a dollar 40, right? Then you have your minor ranges, okay? That's where we're working with 100 pips. I promise you, most of you guys are going to hang out in that area because most of you know, you, yes, it, you have different trading styles, and those trading styles can range. You might be a scalper, which is in and out the market. You know, you might be intraday um, trader, and then you might be a swing trader, right? So you, you might fall somewhere in there. So a swing trader is going to be more focused on that thousand pip range, right? Um, my intraday, you'll be somewhere in between or maybe hanging out in that minor. But the, the scalpers, I guarantee you're going to be in that 100 pip. And then my super scalpers, you're going to do a minor range because you'll be focused on the 10, the 10, the 10, the 10, the 10, right? So you'll be focused there. And so I know we, we termed you super scalpers, so I already know. But just understand the major ranges are going to have more impact the minor ranges, just like when we talk about pulling from the harmonic scanner, right? We talk about the ones on the hour and the four hour, they have the market on the higher time frames have more impact, the support and resistance on a higher time frame 
are more important than the ones on a lower time frame, but I still have to respect all of them, right? Depending on how I'm trading. Then now, as you if you have questions or comments or anything while we go through this, of course, drop it in the chat, right? Drop it in the chat, questions, comments, testimonies, and I'll answer them as it's applicable and appropriate. So your mid ranges you you have are in fourths or quarters. So think about it. How do we talk price? We just talked about something 995, you guys said it's $10, right? But have you ever been like, oh, that's that's 925. That's nine, uh, uh, you know, nine and a half, 950, you know, 975. We don't go 968, right? We we don't say 968. You you kind of take it to those levels, so transactions happen at those levels as well, and that's our that's our mid ranges, right? Th those are in our mid ranges. So let's let's see what that looks like. This is what that looks like, okay? So here, this is our major, right? This is our major. So you see where we have it at one point one in the rest zeros to one point two in the rest zeros. 1.1 in the rest zeros. And so you see the yellow, right? My yellow, my yellow, my yellow is those major ranges. Then of course, I have my, my mid ranges, right? I have those. Look at these are my, my quarter levels. These are my mid ones, my fourths. So you see it said 1.125. Then of course the halfway point, I probably should have made this a different color, but 1.15, right? So that's my halfway point. And then at 1.175. Now what I want you to look at right here, because in each one of these, that's 250 pips in between each one of these. Do you see how the market respects those levels? Do you see how the market respects those levels? Awesome. So if you're seeing, that the market respects those levels, why wouldn't we, right? We wanna respect them too. So remember, we ride the wave. So this is why I tell you guys, there's no such thing as stop hunts. There's no such thing as any of that. You know, That's an excuse for you not properly analyzing the market. That's all it is. Because if you look, right? If you look around here, now I'm gonna tell you around these levels, what happens, right? Around those levels, what happens? Spreads widen. The spread is going to widen because transactions are happening. Money is being moved, okay? Liquidity gets pushed. The market consolidates. Look at how it's bunched up around these lines, right? Look at how the market is bunched up around these lines. So liquidity pushes happen there. Consolidations because orders are being placed, right? So Remember, we're trading on the movement, but we're looking at real transactions. So orders are being placed around these lines. And so that's why. Now, also, remember we talked about that stop sign? That stop sign? There's no such thing as stopping. Because the spreads widen, because that's what's happening, never make that your stop loss. I mean, not your stop loss, your take profit. Never, ever, 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 ever make that your, your take profit, okay? Because it's a great possibility it's not going to touch it. Look here. This didn't touch it. It uh, eventually came up here, but initially it didn't touch it, right? You always, what do I tell you? Even when we're on the lower time frames, you want to cushion around it, all right? You want to make sure you cushion around it because if, so for example, and hopefully you can see my mouse. We're going to go to the charts, though. Uh, hopefully we'll get to the charts. But if I see that, let me say that for the charts. I'll actually take it to the charts because I don't want to. Now, let's look at my minor levels, okay? My minor levels, okay? This is my minor levels. Here are my minor levels, right? The orange line is where I did um, the 100 pips. So from here to here. So I left this major level, but it would still be 100 pips. So it would have been yellow and orange, technically. So this is where we do to the 100 pips. And this, this is where I told you most of you guys will hang out, right? In this 100 pip range, because most of you guys are not swing traders. I already know that. But now look. So from here to here, look at look at my um fourths, right? Look, look, 
right? So my mid range, which is in the middle at the at the five, and then you have the seven five and you have the two five. Do you see how the market is respecting those levels? And now you can see where it consolidates and it rejects and it more things happen around those orders, around those levels, right? We see this? Are we understanding? 555, five, five, you guys are with me. 555, five, five. do I have any questions, comments, or testimonies? All right, good, I got 555. Five, five. All right, so now you see, so support and resistance lines. So now when we talk about touches, we have our touches, touch, 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 right? Touch, 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 right? We have that. So all of that's here. So you can see where the market is literally, I mean, look, it's all right here. And so it's just respecting those levels. Now, let me, let me throw another twist to it. Let me, let me throw another twist. Guess what happens at those levels? That's why do you think I say I'm good? I don't have to use the patterns, right? I use the market. I, I, I let the market talk to me, but you can use it because that's where you begin to identify it. So at these levels is where your harmonic patterns happen and where your market patterns happen. But that is why I tell you guys that I want you to use the harmonic scanner. I think it's a really good tool. To, it's a reversal pattern. It's a really good tool to really help you understand the market and to really begin to understand how to use the market, right? The, that's why I tell you that. And if you use your harmonic patterns, I mean the market patterns, right? We're talking about your market patterns. I'm talking about your um, hand and shoulders patterns. I'm talking about your double tops, double bottoms, right? That's what I'm talking about, all of those. When you use those patterns, then that's actually happening around these lines. So like a head and shoulders will come up and test it, come pull back, pull back. This is not why I'm just giving an example, like come back, pull back, go up, test, you know, come back up, pull down, retest it and come down. So that's where our patterns happen, right? Because remember, it's not just going to hit there. So all our patterns happen at these levels, right? This is what the market is doing, okay? That's what it's doing. So everything happens there. Any questions, comments, or testimonies? Questions, comments, or testimonies? Questions, comments, or testimonies? Drop it in a chat. Questions, comments, testimonies as I get my um, screen up. Oh, I say it's powerful. I see it clearly. Five, five, five. I got a wow and a wow, wow. All right, awesome. So let me pull this up. <laughs> you say this is just what the doctor ordered. You're learning so much. Awesome. I love it. All right. So let's go here. I'm getting my screen share back together for you guys. I want to pull up the chart. And we're going to mark it up together. But that's why I said it might be two parts. You know, might have to pull it up next week where we go pull some... Um, you know, like where we go pull some harmonic patterns and, you know, kind of show you how it all flows. Why well, I'm on a five, let's come up here. How it all flows together, right? So we'll, we'll do that. So let's see. So let's look at, since we're in here, all right? So let's get our zeros. Let's get our zeros. So if I come in here, you say you have to go learn the harmonics patterns. Actually, that's what the tools are for. That's what the tools are for. The harmonic scanner does it for you. So we're gonna, so there's actually some training on using a harmonic scanner on our YouTube channel. Uh, you know, or you could just come back next week where we do it all again. Right? Where we do it all again. So you see what I'm doing. I'm coming in here and um so stay with me. You say if I enter on a higher time frame, do you need the PSARs for stuff? The, the strategy has not changed. And I'm, I'm about to show you how the strategy is so accurate. That's what I'm about to show you right now. The strategy has not changed. We are not changing anything, right? The only thing we did not do tonight was go over the strategy yet. And that's because I saved it for this part. So that's the only thing we have not done. 
So you notice what we are. So from here to here, okay? How many pips is that? From here to here, 100 pips, okay? 100 pips. So now, all right, as I was showing you, actually, let me do this. One second here. All right, just trying to get this set back up. All right. Everything changes when you change the screen. So, all right. So now that's that 100 pip range that we're talking about. So that's kind of where I'm showing you right now. And so what you're seeing is now we're right here at the five and you can see how to market, right? We can kind of see how it's respecting that. So I'm gonna drop, actually, let me change the color. I want it to be different colors. Okay, that's that mid range. Now let's come do one at the seven five, okay? So yes, you should be looking for touches. That hasn't changed. Nothing we've ever taught you has changed, okay? I don't want you to think anything has changed. I'm gonna thicken these lines just a little bit because I really want you guys to be able to see them. Actually, I'm gonna make them as thick as possible. You guys know I kind of like a clean chart, but we're gonna make this as thick as possible because I want everybody to see this with clarity, boldness, right? So let's copy this blue one. Bring it down here to the 25. Right, let's get it on the 25. All right, so you know, I'm on the hour, right? So now, look what we are. So what is that in between here, right? Because we dropped down and we came a little bit lower. So we have about 25 pips. It's just make sure you have to put it, it's dead on it, right? So each one of these zones is 25 pips. So now what you're looking at is my, obviously these are our minor levels, but you know, because we're looking at the hundred pips instead of the thousand, these are our minor levels. And then of course, this is the mid and at the quarters, right? So this is where we are. Now let's take a look at this, okay? Let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna drop down to my 15 minute chart where we tell you to start from, okay? I'm gonna drop down from there. And I, now, well, first, before we even get there, you see how it doesn't always come up and touch it, how I told you, to, you always have to cushion it like it didn't all, quite make it. Remember, the spreads widen, the activity is happening. So technically, and I, but I always tell you this, there's always a zone around these lines, right? Around support and resistance lines, there's always a zone. And just to make it even a little bit clear before I talk the strategy, right? Look to the left. Do you see how the market is respecting it? So if you are still struggling, we don't like that word at all, but you're still, you're practicing with intensity. Let me say it that way. So if you're practicing with intensity and still seeking clarity, put your, thing, put your lines on there, drop the levels and watch how the market respects, right? even no matter how far back I go, look at how the market respects and how the market reacts. This is why support and resistance lines, no matter how far back we go, right, they're always gonna be impacted at those points because of psychology, how we think, how people operate, how we repeat ourselves, how we consistently do the same thing over and over again. And one of those things, now please don't try to trade it without, let me be clear, all right? Do not try to trade it. Do not try to trade it. Do not try to trade it without analyzing the market. You cannot just drop lines and go trade, all right? We have to analyze, okay? We have to. We have to, all right? I wanna be very, very clear, okay? So now let's look at this, okay? Because um, actually where I wanna do this at. So, all right, so let's let's look. Let's just even start back here. So what do I always tell you that, okay, if I was to change this to regular, actually I want it somewhere here, you see the regular candles, look at how it bounces off of here and how it works and how you have to figure it out. But we're gonna stay with the BYOB cash out and our Hikanashi candles because I'm trying to show you how the market reacts. Now, is there zones in between here? Yes, absolutely. I mean, technically, we went from a thousand 
to 100. I mean, you could drop this down and do every 10 pips, okay? If you want to, I just want you to understand it. If you do that, then it's not as strong as the thousand, obviously. It's not gonna have as much impact. It's not as strong, obviously, as the um, the thousand. It's not as strong as the hundred. And then so, but yes, can I put one at the 10, every 10 pips? Absolutely. If you want 10 pips in cash out, because what would I help you do? Let me tell you, and then I'm gonna walk you through the strategy. What that's gonna help you do is if you put your take profit on those even numbers like that, on those round numbers, on those numbers, what's going to happen is you're going to hit take profit more. Because I can promise you, if you are fluctuating in your accuracy rate based on that, because you're getting caught and it's your PIP reaction time, all right? So if you just use these numbers in here and make that your take profit, right? If you just use those numbers and make them your take profit, then you might get eight pips. You might get six pips. You might get 22 pips, right? But what's going to happen is you're actually going to take profit at a more, at, at a, um, you're going to take profit at a level, right? As opposed to trying to push through one of them. And that's only because you're doing 10 pips, but yet you had a, eight to 12 pip pip reaction time. So I just want you to be mindful of that um, because you you might be analyzing it right and doing it right, but how fast is your trigger finger, right? So let's come over here. <clears throat> all right, let's come over here and let's look, all right? Regardless of which one we look from. So blue line cross over the red, Right, because it's definitely a sub, it's like I just said a 10 right up in there. But actually, I want to come. Let's let's look at the one that kept going because the market kind of slowed down because of the time. So blue line cross over the red and an upward momentum, right? You're looking for a green candle with a flat bottom and that piece are flipped to the top, right? So what happens is as this begins to push through here, right? As this begins to push through here what you began seeing, let's do our time frame confluence. Let's not forget that. You can see that we actually have confluence and you can see that the market is actually beginning to move up. So what it's identifying is the fact that we're about to push through this level. And so you notice, and if you're doing buy stops and sell stops, then of course you wouldn't put it in front of the level because you're not sitting at the chart analyzing. You're gonna put it above the levels, right? That's what you're gonna do. Higher time frame, we analyze. Lower time frame is tighter entries, right? So, but my some of you guys trade up in here. And so you can definitely see how the market is respecting these levels. Now look at how it always, you know, it kind of has a reaction, right? What we discussed and what we trained on, it always has a reaction at this point, right? So it goes up, look, we have another reaction there. But do you see? how everywhere we're doing this, even here, blue line cross over the red and downward momentum, red candle with a flat top, piece are flipped to the top. Where we are, we're pushing through that line. So we get those flat tops. We get that as we are pushing through, right? We'll get them as we're breaking through, as we're pushing through. So, or it can come here, like it, it started here, blue line cross over the red and downward momentum, have a red candle with a flat top and a piece are flipped to the top right here. So once again, we're talking to the accuracy rate of the BYOB cash out strategy. Look at how this began to pull down with our confluence. So, and then of course, if I come down to my lower time frame, look at how it's bouncing off of there and we began to sell. Now, um, why is that? Why is that? Because here I have price, right? Price action and price action traders, price action uses areas of value. Moving average, it has a stochastic inside of there. It focuses on trend. We're focused on trend candles. And then of course, support and resistance lines. Now what my what my PSAR is, is a um, parabolic stop and reversal is what you call a dynamic support and resistance line. That is what my PSAR is, is what you call a dynamic support and resistance line. So it's moving with it as opposed to the ones that go straight across. So these are also dictated by the market and the movement and the activity. And just real quick, I kind of have this already set up. 
um, kind of have this, ah, I got a five, five, five without asking for it. So I kind of have this one already. Now this is actually a harmonic pattern, okay? These were some levels from a harmonic pattern. Now what I want you to see, now with the, with the harmonic scanner, right? It, they, the take profits in there is based off of Fibonacci's. If you understand how fibs work, fibs are from swing highs to swing low. Well, if my take, if, if my swing high to swing low is at a is here and I'm putting it here, am I really gonna have those numbers directly on the the levels we're talking about? No, you're not. They'll be a little bit off. So if we come, which is okay, remember? So if we come here and we drop it on here, because this was the heart, what it what it had on there. And if we come drop this on here. And I want to focus, like, if that's around a five, so obviously I would want to put that around a five zero, okay? And I want you to see how close it is and why I tell you that if you're using that, then this is, like, one of the most accurate things, you know, that's going to help you. You Like, is it a standalone product? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's not a standalone product. But you can see how that's, like, right on there. You see what I mean? Like how is like it's like real close. So if I do these two, right, where they identified it from the swing, I don't know, I'm going the wrong direction. From the swing high and the swing low, right? Do you see how it falls right on there? So even asking that question about where my like I have to go learn a harmonic pattern, use the harmonic scanner. Bring it back over here and let it and allow it to help you because you can see this is where it identified take profits at. But as you can see, look at how the market has moved. So whether the take profit was going up, look at how it identified those patterns in the market and look at how close they are. You, you guys see me always move these, right? I know you're like, what is she doing? And why is she moving it? Well, you can see that it's to kind of get it closer to that point, right? Closer to what we want it to be. Like this one obviously would be at 7.5. So and that's because it's used in percentages and, you know, it's using percentages. And then, of course, the swing highs and the swing lows. So, so you see where this one would have been? So it's, it's, it's still in the vicinity, right? It's, still, it's, it's there. Questions, comments, testimonies. Questions, comments, testimonies. Questions, comments, testimonies. Anybody? Nobody? Everybody? Speak at once. I can't hear you. <laughs> you say, this is really good. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, wow. So you say all you see is blue, blue, blue. Yes. So yes, 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 yes. Blue, blue, blue. You'll be on a YouTube trying to process. Yes, it will be. Um, this is good info. Thank you. You are welcome. So all you have to do is obviously a stream there. We have individuals watching from YouTube right now. So all you have to do is actually go and of course the recording will be uploaded a little bit later. So it's been very helpful, absolutely amazing. You are amazed. You guys are wonderful, very helpful. So um, yeah, I'm actually excited for you guys um, because be, I'm excited for you guys um, because it is, it's, it's, it's it's going to change the game for you. Now, this is what I want you to do. So you say, so every thousand pips, um, it depends on your training style. It depends on your training style. So, and, and I don't need you not to try to analyze it. I, what I'm trying to do tonight is help you see clarity because the market is psychological. And so because it has a lot of psychology to it, you know, the market is psychological. And so we deal with people. So your training style is your training style. Because I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't gonna mark up 10, but I mean, I don't, you know, you can go mark up 10. I mean, it's gonna work on anything. As you'll see next week, we'll kind of pull it back up, go through some harmonic patterns, you know, help you identify that. Um, and, but I mean, whether you're on the indices, um, commodities, cryptocurrency, just look for the zeros. Just look for zeros. The more zeros, the more of an, an important line that it is. If the less zeros, then, the the less significant it, even though it'll still have impact look for the zeros right so you want to look for the zeros now um what i want you all to do all right 
is because this is really to set you up to get those six figures. It's really to prep you because I want you to have consistency in your trade account. I want you to have consistency. I don't need you taking a trade and then not a trade, a trade and then not a trade, right? I don't need you in profit, 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 then, oh my gosh, what happened? No, I want you to have consistency in your trade account. And now you have a better understanding of how the market moves. So what I want you guys to do is I need for you all to track your trades. If you've never tracked it before, all right? I want, as you analyze the charts, I want an understanding that you understand and I want you to implement it and I want you to apply it and I want you to make it make sense to you, right? You know, that's what I want you to do. So when we come back here next Wednesday, right? When we get back on, I say Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. We didn't have a call last night because of the weather. Now, when we get back on here next Thursday, I want to know, right? I want to know how it's impacted you, right? I want to know, you know, um, I want to know. So the strategy has not changed, right? Strategy has not changed. 15 minute chart, blue line cross over the red, red candle flat top, flat bottom, piece our flip, time frame influence on the hour, you know, and things of that nature. So that has not changed. That has not changed. P um, stop loss above the PSR, below the PSR. That has not changed. So this is not to get you to change anything. It's not to, as far as analyzing the charts, you still have to analyze. Do not blindly jump into this, okay? Do not, do not, I'm warning you now, it's not gonna work out in your favor. But it is to give you a clear picture of what the market is doing. So now you understand your support and resistance. Support and resistance help you with the market. You understand why these levels are important. I know, what does that say to me? That if I get a trigger right here for a buy, because we get them. So if I get a trigger right here for a buy, because remember when this triggers, it's only pulling through like, and it's analyzing the, the what took, just took place, like the, the what happened in the market, that's what it's doing. So if I get a trigger for a buy right here, I'm not taking it, right? It helps me say, you know what? That's really not a good idea right now because here I am at a mid-level, I need to allow it to bypass and break through. So it, it gives you that extra layer of understanding. It's not a don't do the strategy. It's not a let's not analyze the trade. That's not what it is. It's a level of understanding because your support and resistance are very critical in your success because it's no way you should be trying to take a trade as I come up on one of those major levels. The market has to push through it, right? That's what it has to do. So this is what it's definitely here to do, all right? That's what this is for. So track it, track it, track it. I want to know if it changes your trade account. I want to know if it gives you a level of understanding. I want to know what it's doing, right? I want to know that you implement it because we're setting you free to go get the wealth and walk in the anointing that you all are walking in, all right, that you've been anointed for. So that's what this is all about. It's for, you know, just to help you see it. So before I turn this call back over, is there anyone that, you know, obviously questions, comments, testimonies, but for those of you all, especially that had no understanding of support or resistance, I see a lot of clarity happen, but for um, anyone, right, anyone that did this, just let me get an 888 in the chat if you now have greater understanding and you believe that you can actually see it and can place your support and resistance and you understand where to stop your trades, I need to stop and start where I can do it effectively. Awesome, awesome, fantastic. Well, guys, you know I love you. You know I love you, I love you, I love you. And I'm gonna actually turn this call back over to our visionary, Mr. Gerald D. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, if you were excited about this evening and what the trade whisper has deposited into your hearts and in your minds, uh, once again, I need you to drop a five, five, five in the chat. Five, five, five in the chat. If this, uh, your, your eyes have been enlightened, your mind has been illuminated because 
guess what? We've just simply sh shown a brighter light to what you've already been known. So we just went from a 40 watt light bulb to that 100% fluorescent, that fluorescent. So if you're excited, and because remember, we've made and we made the declaration that this is the year of transformation, but most importantly, the month of July is your financial independence month. If that is you and being able to add this to your repertoire and your arsenal, once again, I need you to drop another 555 in the chat. I am so excited and jacked out of our mind that you now understand when we say an educated trader is a profitable trader. And this should really resonate with your heart and your mind. And this is why this will, and this is the largest economic empowerment movement in the history of mankind. We're going to make sure that we leave no stone unturned, that you are now equipped, you're empowered, you're expanded, and now it's time for you to exit and bring the masses to this plate that, that we can all eat. Two million families financially educated and impacted. So once again, we salute you, Miss Dyer, for what you're doing in the lives of so many people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get an opportunity to transition this call. Uh, we are going to transition this call. We're going to transition this call. So if we can get that replay, replay, Ms. Dyer, if we can get the replay. <laughs> 